All right, we're back. Let's see how we do here. concerns me most about her is how my saddle fits on her. And it's kind of roly-poly, so if she gets to really squirreling around on me, we'll have to do quite a lot to keep her mind in the middle, keep my saddle in the middle to keep balancing. It's just kind of sitting here waiting on him. See if she gets enough. Gumption to take a step or two. She's kind of got herself 
laid out there. So got to rock her a little bit, get her feet back underneath her. And then see if we can start again to get her feet to move a little bit here. trainers that do cold starting clinics you know they'll have a bunch of colts in the pen and, and a rider on a saddle horse and they'll get everybody mounted and then start pushing them around to get them moving I don't have that luxury of having somebody to help move her so I just kind of work with her and we take it one little step at a time until she starts figuring out how to get her feet going and I just keep moving and messing around with things until we can get her straightened up and get a little bit of a step here and there. And keep her mind with me, keep her bending and keep her doing something so that she doesn't just go to sleep and then something happens where she wakes up and jumps and goes to getting scared and, and taking off. If she's nice and calm and willing and listening to me and bending and flexing while I'm sitting up here right off the bat and learning how to take these cues, the basic cues that we've been teaching on the ground, that's just as important to me to give her a chance to take these basic cues now before she starts getting a little bit too quick and reverts back to wanting to reverts back to wanting to you know pull on you or take off so we're still working and we're still making progress and eventually she'll get tired of standing and take a couple steps forward. No, not yet. No, not yet. Vicki just asked if she wanted me to get, if she wanted, if I wanted her to get down and walk around the pen, because she likes to follow people around, but it's a little too early for that. She's going to get bored, and she'll start venturing and experimenting with <clears throat> being able to walk.
Come on, stay with me here. These first few steps is where it's kind of critical because if they have something happen and they take a jump and that cinch might be a little bit loose if it's and the flank cinch might be a little bit loose loose because she's react she's relaxed and if she goes to take off a little too quick that flank cinch might come up and bump her and she might take off so that's where I have to be really prepared to be able to keep a little bend in her nose all the time when she goes to start taking off or when she goes to start moving and that's why I kind of move from side to side with them to, sh to shift my weight, shift her weight and bend her nose a little bit off of the straight line so that if she does jump I'm able to hopefully get her nose and be able to help her out and saddle her down a little bit. Doesn't look like the fancy stuff you see in the movies, but it works for me. And I've had pretty good luck with most of the colts that I do. You want me to get off on the fence? No, I'm not going to do that. Come on. There you go. Nothing fancy. Nothing movie quality. Nothing splashy, but a nice ride. She took directions. We got some movement out of her. Got her quarters moving a little bit, her feet moving a little bit. Got off good. And we get better tomorrow. See you later.